could we really turn Mars green? Terraforming, the idea of reshaping an entire planet to make it habitable for humans, has long belonged to science fiction. But a new study from Pioneer Labs argues that it's time to start taking it seriously. Thirty years ago, the idea of terraforming Mars wasn't just hard. It was impossible. The red planet was simply too cold, too dry, and too empty. But now, new breakthroughs have changed everything. SpaceX's Starship could slash the cost of delivering materials to Mars. Advances in synthetic biology and climate modeling could let us design microbes capable of surviving, and even transforming, the Martian surface. The plan unfolds in three bold phases. Phase 1. Warming the planet. Using engineered greenhouse gases or reflective aerosols, scientists believe we could raise Mars's temperature by about 30 degree noise. That could melt the planet's vast underground ice, creating a global ocean several million square kilometers wide. Phase 2. Life. Synthetic extremophiles. Engineered microbes combining heat tolerance, radiation resistance, and low-pressure survival could spread across Mars like green algae, starting the slow process of photosynthesis. Phase 3. Atmosphere. Over centuries, maybe millennia, the air could thicken and fill with oxygen. Giant domes, hundreds of meters tall, could act as early habitats, Earth-like bubbles where photosynthesis and electrolysis slowly build breathable air. But the paper also raises big questions. What happens to Mars's natural record if we change it forever? What if microbial life already exists there? And the biggest question of all, should we even do it? Terraforming Mars might help us develop technologies that save Earth itself, from resilient crops to closed-loop ecosystems. So maybe the real question isn't just, could we make Mars alive? It's, can we learn to fix Earth first?